Welcome to Ewood Park, where this afternoon Pompey are back on an old stomping ground, taking on old foes Blackburn Rovers. Very much looking forward to getting back to winning ways. It's match day 15 of the League One season, and Pompey's season thus far has a hokey cokey feel to it. In and out, win loss win, six wins, two draws, and of course six losses. And the Blues take on a Blackburn side, one place above them in the table, but only two points off the playoff places. Team news is just in. There is one change for Pompey this afternoon, probably as expected. On the right side of midfield, Jamal Lowe returns. He takes the place of Gareth Evans. And on the bench, significant news there as well. Brett Pittman returns after his operation and absence. He takes the place of Christian Oxlade-Chamberlain. Again, are the Pompey team rather, Luke McGee in goal, Nathan Thompson, Christian Burgess, Matt Clark, Dion Donoghue at the, at the back in midfield, the holding midfielders, Stuart O'Keefe, Ben Close behind Jamal Lowe, who returns to the side, Kyle Bennett and Matty Kennedy up front, Oliver Hawkins. This is the Blackburn side, David Rea in goal, two changes for them by the way, Paul Downing comes in at the back alongside Ryan Nyambe. Charlie Mulgrew, Derek Williams in midfield, Elliot Bennett, Kyle's brother, Peter Whittingham, Richie Smallwood, Bradley Dack and Harry Chapman up front, Danny Graham and the two benches are, Bunky. Uh, Jason Lutweiler is, uh, you may remember him from when we played Shrewsbury a couple of years ago, is the substitute goalkeeper for the home team. Dominic Samuel, Paul Caddis, who very nearly joined Pompey, you may remember. Uh, Marcus Antonson on loan from Leeds, Ben Gladwin, Corey Evans, uh, Craig Conway, uh, Scottish international, that completes the bench for the home team. The visitors, Alex Bass, Danny Rose, Brett Pittman, a welcome back to him, Connor Chaplin, Cal Naismith, Gareth Evans and Brandon Houndstruck. <laughs> Pompey this afternoon in a rather natty, is it dark blue strip, dark blue shirts, shorts and socks. So Pompey wearing their third choice strip. Here's Clark for Pompey at the back. What I was suggesting, Alan, is the stats weren't right. Given away by Donoghue. Here come Blackburn Rovers with Chapman. Pompey are on the back foot now. Still it's Chapman, 25 yards from goal. Here's a chance on the right hand side and it's a goal and it's Bradley Zach who's got it. Five yards from goal, and it's Blackburn Rovers one, Pompey nil. And Pompey are the architects of their own downfall. Here come the home side down the left flank. Forward to Jan Danny Graham into the penalty area. Tries a shot, and it's the second goal. And it's Danny Graham from inches inside the penalty area into the bottom right-hand corner. Martin, for you, uh, you can't beat this commentary. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Perhaps we should play swim ball, he suggests. Very kind of you, I don't think as the ball is held up as a Pompey well, card. There's, there's a Samuel for an off-the-ball incident to the substitute. And here is Burgess again trying to receive the ball, breaking forward. Here come the Blackburn Rowers down the left-hand side. And there is a third goal. And it's Conway who's got it. That capped a miserable afternoon for Pompey. And it's Blackburn Rovers 3, Pompey 0. It's not been possible to play football for, what, the last 20 minutes? And that, thankfully, is the end of it. Blackburn Rovers have won this afternoon. It's finished Rovers 3, Pompey 0.
we have to value, you know, in the, 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 these two away games there, we have to value defending as well. We've given five goals away in two away games, hard to get anything then. If there is any mitigation, there probably isn't. It became a bit faster cool in the end, didn't it? Yeah, perhaps, but, um, you know, there were difficult conditions, but, you know, we can't use that as an excuse. It's not really in my mind. It is, it is what it is. Um, you know, they broke and got a very good goal, a very good third goal, and, and um, you know, it was an excellent finish. And, you know, we couldn't create that type of chance, and the conditions were exactly the same for both sides. Thank you.